let us discuss how to draw an ellipse by using the eccentricity method in it we will get the ellipse like this it has one fixed point it is called focus it has one fixed straight line it is called directrix so this line is the axis the intersection point of directrix and axis is c point okay on the axis v is one of the point of the ellipse okay we will get the ellipse like this in the eccentricity method first take the given data draw an ellipse when a distance of its focus focus means f from directrix is 50 mm okay the distance from focus to directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity we are taking the symbol e is equal to 2 by 3 if it is less than 1 okay we will get the ellipse okay according to the given value it is less than 1 and also draw a tangent and normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix so for this curve we need to do the normal and tangent so first we will do the ellipse for doing the ellipse in eccentricity method first do the directrix this length we can take any length here i am taking some 12 centimeter okay so this is the directrix and mark the c point we can take any point on the directrix i am taking middle point okay so this is the c point at C do the axis line. This axis line is 90 degrees to the directrix. For doing the 90 degrees line, this time I am taking this set square. For doing the axis line, take any length here, axis line. So on it mark CF length, mark F point, it is 5 centimeter from the C point. This is F point. Now after marking F, here mark the V point, how to mark V point in between CF. Here E is the eccentricity, it is E is nothing but it is the ratio of this distance, VF distance point to the focus to the point to the directrix, VC distance. Okay. So here this ratio is given, it is 2 by 3, just write down here 2 by 3. The meaning is VF is 2 parts, VC is 3 parts. Okay, here I will write VF is 2 parts, VF is 2 parts and VC is 3 parts. Okay, so 3 plus 2, total CF is 5 parts. Okay, how much length it is? 5 centimeter. We have to divide this 5 centimeter into 5 parts. So how to take 5 centimeter 5 parts means each 1 centimeter is 1 part. Each part is 1 1 centimeter. So I am taking... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 parts. Each part is 1, 1 centimeter. Now here CV is 3 parts. So 1, 2, 3. This point is V point. Okay. And then VF is 2 parts. Already here this is 1 part. This is the second part. Okay. After marking V point. At V just do one line of some length vertical line. And by using compass. V as center. VF as radius. Do an arc. This arc is touching this vertical line at some E point. Join C and E by using the scale. We will get the inclined line. After that, mark some points on this axis. I am taking some radius. Okay. From V, V is the starting point. Take some radius, mark some points on the axis. This is the first point and second point third point fourth fifth after getting this line at f focus do 45 degrees line okay so here at focus take 45 degrees with the horizontal Join F and this point and extend that line. And here the extend this line also. So that we will get one intersection point. So this intersection point give the name some D point so at D draw the vertical line on the axis for doing the vertical line I am using this roller scale 
are doing the vertical parallel lines. Let's do the line here. Now this is the end point of the ellipse. Starting point is V, end point is I am giving V dash. Okay. okay, we are taking nine points. Give the numbering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, at all these points, do the vertical lines. For doing the vertical parallel lines, I am using this roller scale. At one, do the vertical line and extend this line, this side and this side also. And I give the name for this intersection point is one dash. Similarly, at second point. After getting all these points by using compass, okay, take initially from one point, take one one dash radius, okay. take one one dash radius by using compass and F as center, cut this first line at both sides of the axis. Similarly, at second point, take two two dash radius by using compass, F as center draw an arc on the second line at both sides of the axis this is the axis line and next radius is 3 3 dash f as center cut this third line 3 3 dash line on both sides of the axis next radius 4 4 dash f as center cut this 4 4 dash line next radius 5 5 dash F as center, draw an arc this side and this side, and next radius 6 6 dash F as center, draw an arc on the sixth line, next radius 7 7 dash F as center. Just draw an arc on the seventh line. Similarly, eight and eight dash as radius, and F as center. Just draw an arc on the eighth line. Last one, nine nine dash radius, and F as center. Draw an arc at both sides of the axis. And last radius is V dash and D. Okay. As we know, V dash is end point of the axis. Just check whether it is end point or not. V dash D is the radius. F as center. So it is coming exactly at V dash. Only one point is coming instead of two arcs. At V dash, only one point is coming. So whatever method we are following, it is correct. Okay. Join all these points and V and these points and V dash. We will get the ellipse. For doing the ellipse, I am using the French curve. Okay. So here... Take the French curve here through V, join all these points. So this is the required ellipse. We have to mark the points, intersection points like P1 and then this is P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8 and then P9. Here also mark the points. 
here we can mark p1 dash also or here also we can mark p1 dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash p6 dash p7 dash p8 dash p9 dash like this for this ellipse we need to do the normal and tangent okay so here in the question draw a tangent and normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix this is a directrix from this directrix the point on the curve is 70 mm at this point we need to do the normal and tangent for checking where 70 mm distance point is coming i am using this roller scale just move this scale where 7 is coming it is 0 here so on the curve 70 is coming at this point okay at this point we need to do the normal and tangent mark this point is some p point okay. this is 70 mm distance from directrix for this join p point okay and then focus by using the scale so fp is one of the line and at f draw the line perpendicular to fp okay. perpendicular means 90 degrees this is a FP line. Take 90 degrees point here. Join this point to focus up to directrix. Okay. So take this is T point. Intersection point is T. Don't extend this line after the directrix. Okay. Up to directrix, uh, take this line, FT line. So FP line is perpendicular to FT. This angle is 90. Now join T and P, okay, it is a tangent to the curve. So I am marking this is end point is T dash, T T dash is the tangent. As we know normal is perpendicular to the tangent. At P take 90 degrees line, okay, this is T T dash, this is T T dash. And take 90 degrees point here okay. join this point to P it is a normal so instead of doing here I am taking some length in the direction so I am giving the name N N dash so N N dash is a normal T T dash is a tangent the angle between normal and tangent is 90 here for directrix I am giving name A B okay and here mark the dimension given dimension outside the diagram okay, at some distance from the diagram so c of distance is given it is 50 and this p point and directrix distance is given 70 this is a method of doing ellipse and then normal and tangent at one of the point on the ellipse using eccentricity method